Hello my gorgeous angels and welcome back to another video. I have missed you guys so much. Listen honey, she's got her new Autumn Winter 2-0 AW2-0 jumper on. Candle, lit, cup of tea at the ready. Primark stuff down there is beginning to feel a lot like autumn to me. Today I have a very, very, very exciting video. It's gonna be a huge Primark haul, which is part number two of the whole little mini Primark twin vlog or as Connor called it series that I am coming for you guys this week if you guys haven't seen or if you're new to the channel hello angel welcome on Tuesday I did a big come shopping with me to Primark video you and me went to Cabot Circus Primark babe look it was a fab time Primark have done a fab job of keeping up you know with the autumn fine girls aka you and me I wouldn't say they had loads of autumn stuff in there but they definitely had a fair shout of knitwear autumn accessories autumn shoes were creeping in pajamas and I did make a big effort to make sure that I didn't feature loads of stuff in that video that I knew I was going to be featuring in this video so if you guys haven't seen a part one at the Primark come shopping with me and I will leave it up here and also a link in the description box below for you guys to go check it out without further ado let's get straight into the haul because I feel like my Primark calls <laughs> I ramble a lot let's get the show on the road okay we have three big bags to go through first of all I'm gonna start off with knitwear because I feel like that's why you're all here do you know what I mean? First up we have this stunning little cardi. Look, is it really autumn winter if you haven't got a cardi? I got this in a size large. I like all of my knitwear and my cardigans and my pajamas to be very oversized on me because we cannot be dealing, right? When you've had your Sunday dinner with something that is like true to size and a bit uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? We have to have enough room to blow, to chill out, to basically just be double the size it needs to be. So you will notice I buy a variety of sizes throughout this haul. And if you guys are new here, I am typically a size 10, eight to 10. This was 13 pounds. I feel like every girl needs a good, nice knit cardigan in their wardrobe at this time of year. It just pairs lovely with like leather leggings or jeans and a bodysuit. I also picked it up in this really gorgeous oatmeal color that I love. You guys know me, it's very rare that I have a pop of color in my wardrobe. As you can see, the majority of the stuff I wear is like, whites, creams, greys. Sometimes in the autumn, we might push the boat out a little bit and go for a black. It's mainly these kind of tones. So yeah, I love this one. I got this one in a size large again, and again, this was 13 pounds. Another Cardi, Jesus. Cardi Queen was out in full force when we went to Primark, babe. You can't see this one too much when I just hold it up like that, so I'll do a try on clip here. This is a really, really gorgeous knit cream cable cardigan. We've got a nice little balloon sleeve feature. We've got a tie waist. This one might be nice just literally paired with jeans if you tie it around so it like is like a top as opposed to just a cardigan. But yeah, I thought that was beautiful. I got that in a size large as well and this was 15 pounds. As you can see, yeah, Primark really came through with the knitwear. Like this was 31st of August, yeah. Bank holiday Monday, this was when I did this haul. I feel like give Primark a chance, let them get to the middle of September and then let's see where we're at because I just feel like they're just peaking right now. Oh, these I'm excited to try on. So I picked up some mum jeans because I have heard the best things about Primark mum jeans. Apparently they're literally such a great dupe for Topshop jeans. So these say that they are mum jeans, they're high-waisted. I got them in a size 10, they were 15 pounds. I loved the bleach color of them. Now, the other day, I won't lie, if you guys watch my Instagram stories, you would have seen, I put jeans on for the first time, literally since before lockdown, and Annie was not too impressed, okay? I made a vow to myself to not wear jeans, basically for the rest of the year, basically for the rest of my life, but I felt like I would just take one for the team and try some Primark jeans, and just let you guys know in case you want to wear jeans ever again. I don't know, maybe these might be the comfiest jeans of all time, and they might, you know, win a spot in Ellie Darby's heart. I can't make any promises, but we can at least try them on and see how they go. Heading back to knitwear, we had a little break there with the denim. I bought this adorable cardigan again, but I feel like this one isn't a cardigan. I feel like this is more of a top because I have a similar one to this in a nude color um, from Zara. And this is just stunning to wear to like lovely dinners or brunch. I like to pair them with white jeans and like heeled boots. I think that's a really cute look. I got this one in a size small and this was 13 pounds again. Another little piece of clothing. Well, it's not really little, is it? It's actually like a tent. But another piece of clothing that I bought was this lovely, incredibly comfy, look at that, 
grey hoodie. This was £12. I got it in a size small and it looks massive. This is like really oversized. Just because this just looked like such a fantastic basic. Am I right? It's got an adjustable drawstring at the bottom of it so that you can have it like tight and pulled in or really lovely and loose, which is... <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be wearing it. Nice big hood. I don't know, it just felt like, I feel like that's gonna be my new dog walking hoodie. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you really can't go wrong with something like that. Tea break. If you haven't got your tea already or your hot chocolate or whatever your beverage of choice is, I suggest you pause the video and go and make one. I think this is the last piece of clothing that I bought, but I could be wrong. Anyway, um, I just went all out, honestly. I mean, if you watch a lot of my Primark hauls, you might notice I don't typically buy loads of clothes. Like, usually I'm only in there for the home or the beauty, mainly the home. Yeah, I just couldn't help myself. Like, they're just coming out with some fab stuff this season. This is a little bit different to what I would normally go for, but I just saw this and I almost had a vision, right? Just walk with me. Okay. I was picturing this with like black jeans or black leather leggings, a hat, a woolly coat, no hang on I've gone too far with the vision, Feeling it back I thought gold jewellery and black leather leggings and heel boots and I feel like that's actually a really classy looking jumper with the gold things on the sleeve yeah, I thought that was very Zara-esque, that was £3 and I got it in a, oh my god what size did I get that in, I got that in 2XL Okay, well I didn't mean to, but you know, oversized queen, we love. Oh my god, would you look at what's stuck in here? How did they get in there? It's supposed to be in the chocolate cupboard. MLS milk chocolate buttons. If you've never tried, you've never lived. Now I'm gonna make that part of your autumn winter bucket list for this year. You need to try these. And then when you're hooked, feel free to blame me because I don't mind being named the MLS gigantic chocolate button. Queen. Moving on to homey bits. I feel like you can class these as homey bits. I picked up some slipper socks. These were two pounds. Really cute baby pink colour. I feel like these are a staple. I, I'm just obsessed with slippers, you know, at the moment. Got these ones from um, the white company. They're like flip flop slippers, but they're more like spa summer slippers. Like I needed some that are gonna, you know, cover my tootsies. In the winter, in the autumn, sat by the fireplace. Roasting chestnuts on the fireplace. I do get carried away, but anyway, yeah, love those. And then I also actually bought some more slippers because let me tell you a story about these, okay? I am sentimental. If you guys know me, you will know I am a sentimental chick. I will just buy something because it reminds me of a lovely memory in my life. So these slippers are four pounds. First of all, memory foam slippers by Primark. If you've never had them, again, you need to have them. Have these on while you're eating your Marks and Spencer chocolate buttons. You'll feel exactly like me. These slippers I had just bought when we bought Herbie home almost two years ago now. And he just loved them. Like he used to snuggle up in them. He used to chew them, of course. He was a baby Labrador puppy. That's why I didn't mind. I just saw them. I just thought they just remind me so much of like being a fresh new mum. Do you know what I mean? had to get them and they're really comfy next i picked up these necklaces for three pounds um now i'm gonna try and be a bit cooler i did say this in the other video on tuesday i do kind of want to you know just be a bit more edgy this autumn i feel like i'm literally such a not very cool sometimes do you ever get that feeling like you just don't wear enough jewelry i mean we're all perfect as we are let's just say that but sometimes if you want to have a little bit of a revamp I mean, what's a three pound necklace? Is that gonna hurt, you know? I love the trend of gold jewelry over knitwear. So that's what I'm gonna, you know, push the bet out and try and be a bit cooler by doing that. I know, I know, that is a really big step to take, isn't it? I picked up a couple of hair scrunchies. These ones for two pounds. I loved all of the colors of those. And then also this one for two pounds because I feel like this is pride of If you guys didn't know, I'm newly engaged, honey. But yeah, just love, that's bloody big. Even for me, do you know what I mean? And I love a big scrunchie, but that is big. Next, I picked up some of these, bit of a boring purchase. This is a boring Primark purchase, but I feel like it's an essential. And if you've never had them, you need them. These are the best cosmetic pads ever. Like, they just fit my face perfectly. I picked up this cute little plant for well, that says three euros, but that's not our currency, darling. We are GBP, Great British Pound. So I don't know, that must have been about two pounds or two pound fifty, but just a cute little plan. I'm trying to incorporate more greenery. I do feel like I am just a neutral Nancy. Do you know? I appreciate the way I'm talking in this video. It makes me sound as though I'm having a bit of an identity crisis, a bit of a midlife, you know, mid-twenties crisis. I'm not. 
I just want to wear gold jewelry and have plants. Um, just really like that. I thought that was a bit of a bathroom vibe. You know, just above a toilet. I feel like if you walk into a toilet or a long suite and somebody has that above the toilet, you kind of feel like they've got their life together a bit. So that's the vibe I wanted to give off. Oh, this is an exciting one. So I picked this room sachet up for two pounds. Now, can't believe this, okay, but Primark are actually like, you know, giving the white company a run for their money. And they've started this spa serenity range. It's eucalyptus and geranium with essential oil. This has got packaging around it, but you can smell it from outside the packaging, it's so strong. I'm gonna put this in the bedroom and see, you know, if it makes me feel a certain type of way. Not like that, I just mean, does it make my bedroom smell nice? Well, that was quite exciting. And I also thought if it's rubbish, it's only two pound in a room sachet. You know, I didn't want to go all out and get so excited about like a candle and a reed diffuser and it doesn't smell very nice. So I thought, room sachet, that's quite exciting. Moving on, we're going to talk about pyjamas, okay? Because I've honestly, this is like one of the most exciting things for me whenever I go into Primark is heading to the pyjama floor. Now, let me just explain something. If this is like the first video of mine that you're ever watching, I feel like I need to do a bit of a disclaimer. If you're looking for sassy classy expensive looking posh um like put together pajamas i'm not really your girl at all i mean i might have my odd pair but like when i go to primark i go specifically to find the most mismatched lazy day non put together looking pajamas that i can possibly find because they are the comfiest look i admire comfort one billion times more than presentation so um that's what we went for with this with these pajama looks okay first of all of course would i really be any derby if i went to primark and didn't buy a disney top the answer would be no it's in a large six pounds it's just basic and it says Disney on. I feel like I've got so many of these t-shirts now, but genuinely they are pretty much all I ever wear to bed. They are so comfortable. But I'd go a bit more like cool girl vibe, just, you know, playing Disney. Like, I'm, yeah, I like Disney, but I'm not like a crazy fan as opposed to my other Disney t-shirts that is like, if I was an aristocrat, I would be Marie or Hog all aboard the Hogwarts Express. No, Disney is just like, I don't mind if the postman sees me in that. What does this even, oh God. Right, like, look, like I said, comfort is key, okay? Don't mind presentation. Although these aren't ugly, but I mean, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Size medium, loved the look of them. I really like these little strappy tops for, for pajamas because they're just like comfy. You know, your boobs still look relatively nice in them, I find. And these pajama bottoms, they just looked a bit fab. Like, they just look really comfy. They're kind of like harem style, I want to say. Little bow tie, can't really go wrong. At least I'm going to look, you know, a bit more put together because it's a set. Oh, and then I also, I had to buy these because I thought that pyjama top would go with this as well. Um, like pink pyjama bottoms. Now I am going to aim to go for these as like my absolute favourite pyjama bottoms. Like the pyjama bottoms you wear, when you're on your period or the pajama bottoms you wear when you are literally just in such a lazy mood you don't want to move all day you have your one pair of favorite everyone's got one right they're one favorite pair of pajama bottoms well i'm hoping that these are going to be the new ones because my current pair have a hole in them because i've worn and washed them so much you know i am on the lookout um so that's my reason for this is medium eight pounds then okay this was a bit of a you know cheeky purchase i do need to show connor these but i bought these bride to be i know i showed them in the other video but i love them pink and white first of all that's me isn't it but then also a strappy top again quite flattering shorts everyone can do with a good pair of pajama shorts um and also i am actually a bride to be and I feel like there's only one moment in your life when you can actually wear these and you can't wear them forever so they were just too cute to pass up on really and I won't even you know lie I totally am that fiance that is annoying and I get that but guess what when you guys get engaged yet you will fully understand my bubble of oh my god I'm a fiance <laughs> size medium seven pounds I'm really excited to wear those i might just spring them on in do you know what i mean i might just come downstairs later wearing those sit at the top of the stairs like this 
and see what he has to say. I'll be like, can you believe you're lucky enough to be marrying this girl? And he'll probably be like, do you know what? I count my lucky stars every day. Right, final purchase now. Um, this is a purchase I'd probably say is my favourite out of the entire haul. This is a sustainable cotton spa-esque dressing gown now if you guys watch the video on tuesday the come shopping with me you will see that near the end of the video i show this like oasis like wood spa oasis prime i could kind of put in together right now um it's this section with like really cottony bamboo wood vibes i just really liked this i feel like i've got my favorite fluffy dressing gown um, I won't say any more than that, but I'm pretty sure before long it's going to be your guys' favourite fluffy dressing gown too. I do need like a little bathrobe one because isn't there's just not much better, is there, than going to a hotel and having a really lovely like towel-y kind of bathrobe to just do makeup in and stuff. And also, this one's short sleeve, which I thought was really interesting because when you're cleansing and you're taking your makeup off, there's nothing more annoying in there than the water. Oh, it actually gives me shivers just to think about it now. Running down your arm. Mm -mm. And then getting your dressing gown or your pyjama top or whatever you're wearing wet and dirty. One of my biggest pet peeves. It doesn't say, but I want to say... Where's the label for that one, then? I want to say that was around £12 and I got it in a size large. So, angels, that was everything I picked up. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And thank you guys so much for sticking around if you did watch Tuesday's video as well. And you enjoyed this little Primark little... Thing that we have going on this week if there are any other shops that you would like me to do this for then do let me know but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching i cannot tell you how happy i am now to just be in the best season ever cozy cold food that just kind of sets the vibe ready doesn't it if you guys were new here and you made it all the way to the end of this video oh my goodness i think we're bffs i would love for you to subscribe and become part of the angel gal fam and if you guys enjoyed today's video angels please make sure you give it a big thumbs up love you guys so much thank you so much for watching once again and i will see you in the next one